President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump both visited Texas towns over the at the southern border yesterday and delivered very different messages. I understand my predecessor's legal past today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Join me or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. The United States is being overrun by the Biden migrant crime. It's a new form of uh, vicious violation to our country. There's no red state or blue state where I come from. They're just communities and families looking for help. This governor, Newscom from California, isn't that his name, Newscom? Uh, what he's done to California is unbelievable. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? But this is a Joe Biden invasion. Horrible. Crooked Joe is the blood of countless innocent victims. Compromise is part of the process. That's how democracy works. That's how it's supposed to work. We did much better in 2020 than we ever even thought about doing in 2016. And very bad things happened. We work for the American people, not the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We work for the American people. Nobody explained to me how allowing millions of people from places unknown, from countries unknown, who don't speak languages. We have languages coming into our country. We have nobody that even speaks those languages. They're, they're truly foreign languages. Nobody speaks them. And they're pouring into our country, and they're bringing with them tremendous problems, including medical problems, as you know. What are we, what are we supposed I to do can't. with that? I mean, see, why do they, people are actually voting? Is, is there really one languages. person voting for Not that guy? Not just foreign languages. Who's, how stupid truly would you have to be? Foreign. He can't complete a sentence. He can't complete a thought. He he talks about Crooked Joe is the uh, blood of countless victims. This is vicious violation. I mean, he just does he again, even like think about what he's going to say? Does, does somebody prepare? give him a little piece of paper know. or something? He, like because that that's clear. He doesn't. He doesn't even think. Well, but I, I think I, I really or don't know, Willie. He maybe you can give us some insight on it. Uh, but but he looks so lost and confused. He jumbles his words. He tries to read a little bit. He's trying and to then, be nasty. And, but... then, and then yeah, trying to be nasty. But when he does that fifth grade or really five year old taunt, Newscom is that his name? Newscom. <laughs> I mean, talk about losing about eighteen miles off your fastball. Yeah. I mean that guy. This guy's pitching seventy two miles an hour down the middle of the plate. I mean, <laughs> it's it's not it's not good. And again, I ah. just have to bring it up. He's lying as he always does when he talks about the border. When he ran and was talking about the border wall, Barack Obama and Joe Biden had illegal border crossings on the southern border at a fifty year low. He's just making this stuff up every day. And then the numbers exploded under him. Then they exploded even higher under Joe Biden. And Joe Biden and, and Senator Langford, the most conservative senator uh, in, in probably in, in the United States Senate, and, and Democrats came together in bipartisan bill. And listen to this. Joe Biden saying yesterday, let's put politics aside. Let's come together and pass the toughest border security bill ever, which, of course, those border security agents that Joe Biden is with right there, their union came out and begged Donald Trump and Mike Johnson to stop playing politics with the safety and the security of Americans. The guy on the left worked with hardcore Republicans and took a position that progressives in his party hate. But he came to the center, he came to compromise with Republicans, and actually even went further right than most of his party was comfortable with, and they got a deal. And then the guy on the right said, don't pass the toughest security border legislation ever. It might help Joe Biden. I mean, that's where we are right now. He, Donald Trump has said he wants the crisis to continue unabated for the next year. Yeah, and he's given that order to the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, who's very happy to take it and to turn his back on this bipartisan legislation led by that, that noted guy. liberal squish, 
James Lankford, one of the most conservative members of the United States Senate, who worked for months to put this together, said, this is what you said you wanted from us. Here it is. This is as good as it's ever going to get. And yet the House won't take it up on the orders, as you say, of Donald Trump. So.